everyone. Temporarily back to the Friday uh, uploads um, for, for my channel. Anyway, I'm Mia. Um, hi, if you've never seen me before. Um, I'm, I'm quick recap of who I am again, if you've never watched any of my videos. Um, I'm bi-gendered, trans uh, person, American, uh, live in England, though. Um, currently it's raining big news there um yeah i you know i don't really have very much news uh, as far as, as as transitioning is going on um because there's really gonna be nothing going on until uh um october because uh, my therapy appointment was for the 13th of september but it's now gone up to if i can move all this junk um yeah, I'm a slob, by the way. My desk is a mess. You'll never see my desktop unless it's clean, promise. But anyway, um, yeah, my appointment's been moved to the 11th of October at 2 p.m. Uh, due to the fact that the therapist, for some reason, d decided to take his um, annual leave or annual holiday uh, in the month of September. So they've had to move all that month's um, appointments around. So yeah, um, it gives me a little bit of time. I'm not too upset about it. I mean, I'm, I am a bit because I was looking forward to it, uh, you know, getting the ball rolling. But it, it gives me an extra month to get my name changed amongst everything. Um, still having problems with the bank. Um, they'll let me change my name at the bank, but my chosen title, Sir, uh, S-E-R, um, and my gender of both male and female or other, uh, they can't change my title or my gender um, because their programs won't allow it. Uh, their program, their title is a drop down list and only has the, the typical titles of Mr., Mrs., Ms., Reverend, Sir, S I R, uh, Professor, and stuff like that. Um, None of which apply to me, obviously. So, uh, and my gender, because I, I classify myself as both male and female, they can only take one or the other. And so their program will not allow me to change my name. Um, I'm in the process of, of working that out, hopefully. But anyway, um, because I don't have any news other than, than that, uh, I've decided to um, do, do questions. Uh, from uh, Proust, Proust.com. Uh, if, if you're not on it, I'll, I'll leave the link um, in the description somewhere down there um, to my, my personal Proust profile. Uh, it, it's fun. Um, basically, you're given questions, you know, there's a list of, of uh, normal questions that they ask you, um, or people, other people can ask you questions. So, I mean, if you have a question for me, you can go on here and you can ask me a question, uh, which is cool. Um, so, th they have a question of the week, you know, so I'll, I'm going to, uh, I think, you know, on, on weeks that I don't have anything to say, really, I'm going to do this and, and do the question of the week live on, on camera, um, so to speak. So, um, this week is what is your favorite childhood memory of summer now when i was a kid i lived in the states obviously i lived in missouri for most most of my childhood um my young childhood definitely uh, i lived in st Clair, missouri um and salem missouri uh, as i was a kid growing up and and during the summer um my, my favorite memories of, of summer i've got two really I mean, they're not really memories, but they're, they're good times that, that I, I always enjoy doing. Um, my first memory of, of summertime is um, <clears throat> the 4th of July um, picnic, oh, evenings um, at, at the local uh, town park, uh, which I lived, luckily, I lived just across the street from, from, from the park. That was, uh, so all I had to do to, to watch the fireworks I could have stayed at home, but you know what's the sense in that? It's boring. Uh, so instead, I'd go walk across the park, um, and I'd meet up with various school 
acquaintances, people from, from church, people that I knew, you know, growing up as a kid, parent, uh, friends of my, my mother's, uh, and, <coughs> excuse me, um, yeah, I, I, I sit on, you know, on a blanket with, with them and watch the fireworks. And there was always, uh, at the park, there was always, you know, got the little vendors uh, selling drinks and, and snacks and glow-in-the-dark bracelets and stuff like that. You know, if I had money, I'd, I'd, I'd always get something, at least a, a, a Coke uh, or pop or whatever, of whatever flavor they were selling. Uh, and yeah, I'd stay up, watch the fireworks, and then walk back home, which is all of two minutes away. Um, so it, it was a good time. I, I love fireworks. Uh, the only problem with fireworks is that I don't like um, here in England is it always rains on, on bonfire night. I mean, obviously, England doesn't celebrate the 4th of July. Uh, that's strictly an American holiday. Uh, and sit over here, we have bonfire night, which is um, also known as Guy Fawkes night, which is to celebrate um, the guy called Go Guy Fawkes who tried to overtake Parliament um, by blowing it up, and we set off fireworks to celebrate it for some reason. Um, but it's fun. Paul loves the fireworks. Um, I don't set off any because we, we live in a, a, a in a state, housing estate, and there's really nowhere safe to, to set them off. Plus, I'm almost always on my own with Paul um, on bonfire night, and he likes to run right up to the fireworks because uh, he's afraid he's going to miss something. So safety issues. Uh, I always send him up to his room when all the neighbors start setting off fireworks, and he can watch from his bedroom window. Uh, but we do in indoor fireworks, which are cool. Um, another childhood memory. Um, I always enjoyed uh, going to my sister's. Uh, and she, she lived in Kansas. Um, but almost every summer, uh, well, actually several summers, um, I, I often skip the last day of school. Uh, and... She, she'd come over, um, she'd stay a few days with, with me and my mom, and then she'd go back to Kansas and she'd take me with her. And I'd stay there anywhere from two weeks to half the summer, if not more. And it was fun. Um, I always enjoyed it because, well, yeah, my, my oldest sister was, uh, she always spoiled me. She was like a second mom to me. Um, she, she spoiled me rotten. but. It was always it was always neat seeing, uh, going to visit her and, and stuff. Um, I, I do have other uh, other summer memories uh, going to, to Bible camp <laughs> uh, when I was in church. Um, I, I always enjoyed it because it was. I mean, I, back then I was uh, when I when I went to Bible camp I was a stickler for religion. I, mean, I was a highly highly religious person. Um, not so much now, uh, but yeah. The, the, during Bible camp, I mean, yeah, I liked all the the classes and Bible courses and that that they they had um, back then. Um, for the first year, I, I enjoyed it, but the second and third years that I went, I didn't go as much for the courses. Um, I had to go to a certain number of them, but. I went because it was absolutely beautiful. I mean, it was in the Ozarks, uh, gorgeous area, uh, nice, peaceful. Uh, there was a cave, it's a very small cave that you could go into, uh, gorgeous lake, uh, beautiful. Um, so yeah, pretty much after the first year, I started, you know, questioning, um, my religious beliefs, uh, a bit and. So I just went mainly for something to do and, and for the, the gorgeous, you know, gorgeous scenery. It was beautiful. Um, but that's about it. Um, so I'll, I'll leave the link to Prost.com down below. Um, so if, if you have any questions that you want to ask me, uh, I, I don't care what kind of questions they are. They can do with, with my past, my present, being by gendered trans, my life as a parent, single parent life, what it's like in England. I don't care. If you have any questions, ask. Um, 
and then I'll, I'll answer on profs.com, you know, on my account there, and I'll also answer on video. Um, so it could be fun. But anyway, uh, that's it for me. It's going to be a relatively short video tonight. Uh, I'm off to listen to more Anita Blake Vampire Hunter novels. Um, it's funny because I'm, I'm reading them as I listen to them. And I'm actually a lot farther on and well, I'm, I'm skipping around in the books, but going uh, in order on the audiobooks. Um, so basically, I, I'm, I, I'm, I know what's going to happen because I'm reading the books before I get to them in the audiobooks, but I, I, it's okay. Um, I often forget anyway what I read 20 minutes after I've read it. Um, so, yep, I'm going to read uh, Laurel K. Hamilton. Maybe do a bit of uh, crochet, um, play games, whatever. You guys have a good night, and I will see you all later.